Hi, in this video I'm going to talk real briefly about the mailings tab and I'm not going to go into great detail, just I'm joy just going to show you um, one of the functions um, that you can do in this that I think you'll find really useful in the future. Uh, like I said, I'm only going to do a couple of these buttons. So let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Let's say you have a real simple letter you want to send out thank you cards, for instance, for your birthday. And uh, you're sending it to your dear old friend, Fred. And uh, you want to thank him for the birthday present. I loved, you know, maybe he bought you a uh, basketball. I don't know. Um, and the thing is, you're going to have to write, you know, 50 of these birthday um, thank you letters because you have so many friends. And that just takes too much time. Um, the same go. This idea goes the same for like memos and things you got to mail out to a bunch of people. The thing is, you're going to have to type in all of this stuff over and over and over, um, but the content will remain pretty much the same. So, how do we get this to be filled in automatically? Well, the first thing you need to have is an Excel file, which we haven't talked about Excel yet, but um, pretty. Uh, it's pretty simple just to fill out an Excel file with all the people's information uh, that's going to be going into each letter, their first and last name, their address, the city, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, it's pretty important to make the very top row the title of each of these columns. And that'll come into play in a second. So you can see the first name and last name. That's the title, and uh, we'll have to use that in a minute. So you want to, you do need to have all this information written down in an Excel file, but once you do it, then it'll automatically generate all the letters um, all at once. So let me show you. So I'm going to save this. I'll have this closed. And in the mailings, in this mailings tab, you'll click on uh, start mail merge. This is a mail merge we're doing. And we're going to use the wizard, step-by-step -step wizard. It's going to ask you over here on the right, what type of document are you working on? We'll just call it a letter. Click on Next. And it says how uh, select the starting document. That's, that's the one we're in. So use the current document. And then it says select recipients. This is where you are selecting that Excel file. So click on browse. You can type all this information in from scratch, but if it's already saved in your file somewhere else, you don't want to have to redo it. So you go and find the database file or the Excel file. And here it is, my mail merge data. Now, it's going to say, well, select a table, because you can have a few tables in Excel. Um, so you'll make sure to select the table that all your information is in. Let me show you what I mean. See down here it says employee, employee names. That's basically the sheet or the table I'll be using. So yeah, usually that's fine. And notice right here, this checkbox. First row of data contains column headers. If you didn't title those columns, then you will um, make sure that's not checked. But since we did title them, keep it checked. And it's going to say, who do you want to include in this list? You know, you don't have to include everybody, um, only the ones that gave you presents. So I'm just going to leave them all checked and say OK, and then nothing happens. <laughs> so what you do next, there's a few ways to do this, but um, I'll have my sample letter right here, and I'm going to highlight this word, this, this street address, and I'm going, to, I'm going to click on Insert Merge Field. And look right here, here's all of those columns or categories that you can use. So I'm going to use address one. And it says address one. So now I can delete 
this one I typed in earlier, and it will fill it in in a minute. And then the city, right? Let's remove that and insert the city field. These are all called fields. And then we'll leave the comma there so it stays, and then insert the state. Make sure you put a space, insert the zip code, and now we can delete all of that. And it doesn't look like much, but those will take the place of everyone's address in a minute. We'll replace the guy's name with the first name. You can do both if you want to. First name, space, last name, perhaps, but just don't forget your spaces and your commas. And then it says, I want to thank you for the birthday present I received. And then most likely you would have typed a column in here that says what they gave you. I don't have that, but I can just pretend they, you know, you typed in everything they gave you. And so I love the, and this could be a field right here. And then you can, you know, make it a little bit more personal. It was my favorite present. Oh, don't pretend you don't do that. Okay, um, next it says, I tried calling you, but your number didn't go through. Is your phone number still, you know, I'm just trying to show, you know, you can use, you can put the phone number field right there. And just make sure to erase anything else that had the original phone number. So you see all this, this, we can create many letters from this now. And the very last step, you can either merge Merge it and print every single one of these to your printer, and it'll print all of these. Or for the time being, I don't want to print all of these. I'm just going to make them all a bunch of individual PDFs just to give you the idea. So I'm going to merge to a PDF. And it says right here, um, you can choose only certain ones. Um, just accept the default. And look, it is doing all of the letters. It asks, where do I want to save all of these? I'm going to save them to a new folder that I can delete. Delete this later on. I'm going to save them in there. And you'll see them creating every single one of these. And it takes a minute, so I'm going to let it finish. And it says mail merge is complete. And let me show you what it created. And here it was the whole time. Let me open up this folder. And here are all of the letters. Let's, lo let's open one and take a look. Here you go, Timothy Abrams. He lives on Nutmeg in New Jersey. There's his phone number. Let's make sure it matches. There it is. Timothy Abrams on Nutmeg in New Jersey. So we've just created a, a bunch of PDFs, and uh, typically you would save these as each individual's name, which is another option you can choose. Or you can just print them straight out. And this is a very quick way of writing a bunch of letters all at once that contain the same information. And that is it for this video.